continue pre-season with a one-all draw home to West Ham United. How do you think that went? Extremely positive, but I'm not foolish. We know the opposition that here tonight, we raise our game and you go and play three or four levels above what you'd normally do in the National League. But I thought we were a tough opposition as we will do all throughout next year. Um, I felt the first half performance wouldn't have got matched because I thought we delivered on the game plan. And the second half team come on and was excellent in possession of the football, worked ever so hard to nullify them. And I felt that overall the exercise was, was very positive. So we play against the West Ham side that included Sai Ben Rama, Manuel Lanzini, Issa Diop, Arthur Masawaku, Darren Randolph, Angelo Bonner. Um, is this an example of the hard work and training paying off even this early into pre-season to compete against these kinds of players? Of course, yeah, look, there's, like I said, you're going to raise your game because you are playing against that said individual. But for me, it's about the organisational side of things. It's about what we worked on and spoke about in our debrief yesterday with the analysis team. And for me, if we can start to implement what's being asked of the management team to the players, I think we'll have a chance. And some of the play in that second half was very dominant. We, we locked them in and we turned it over and then they had a spell, but we were disciplined in our shape. And for me, there's a lot of positives, a lot of positives, but I'm not foolish, this is pre-season. I spoke to you after the Brentford game. I spoke to Billy prior to any games. It's about in injuries and about getting people match fitness and at the minute we're ticking both of them boxes. It was a bit cooler this evening after a very hot day on Saturday against Brentford. How do you think that affected the players? I think it aids them. Had a little downpour beforehand which took a little bit more of the mugginess away. Um, but look, if you, if you face a team like we did on Saturday against Brentford in that heat, it's going to be tough. If you face West Ham tonight in the similar heat, it's going to be even tougher. But for us, it was fortunate that the temperature come down. There was a slight wind which aided that, but for me, I like putting people in the nth degree. I like to force them to issues that they wouldn't be in every week in the National League, and I think they're coming out on top. On West Ham, we're coached by Kevin Nolan, a player who made over 400 Premier League appearances. Is there anything particularly you learn from him in the opposite, the opposite dugout? Look, for me, I learn loads from every time I watch a team and the way the little patterns are, but. It's the individuals that are on the pitch at the time. Some of their quality is amazing. Their injection of pace from going really slow to get you into a full sense of security to then going three or four notches up and the one twos, the little combinations in wide areas. There's loads of bits that you take from the game, but it's hard. We've got individuals that can do a lot of what they can do. It's just the consistency across the season, the consistency across the game. I learn all the time, always learning from every individual that comes in. That's even in the National League and when we play in the Cups against lower division teams. And for me, it's just trying to get it into your practice. If it aids you, then utilise it. If not, you, you, you move on from that. And I'm looking forward. We've got another short break of just three days before we work with Chelsea here on Friday night. How are you looking to avoid overworking the players? Oh, listen, I got a tape of the session Thursday. I spoke about that in terms of prior to Brentford coming in. I always work backwards off the teams that we get in pre-season. But the ball was massive for us in this football club because you can get a lot of contact time into the group, a lot of work into their legs, and it was very much focused on just doing that. And I think we're seeing that. I think we look strong, we look fit. Like I said, I'm not going to get carried away. It's pre-season. I've been in teams where you've lost every single game in pre-season and gone and absolutely started the season on fire. I've been in teams where you smash teams every game in pre-season, you've gone and lost the first six. I'm not foolish, I won't get ahead of myself. The team definitely won't get ahead of themselves. They self-police in there, which is the best thing. And there's a demand from each other and the individuals that, for me, that I'm seeing really freshens up the group with the new five signings and there's a, a willingness to go and work for each other, which I'm loving. And with Chelsea going to put out an 11 rather than their first team, um, okay, West Ham uh, are mostly academy players, but they're the fair few first team players in there. Um, are you expecting a different sort of game to what we played today against West Ham and on Saturday against Brentford? Yeah, I'm probably seeing a team that would go and compete in the National League quite comfortably in Chelsea, and I think that's going to be very much our mark going forward. I think the next five, the organisation this pre season has been class, been class, but the chairman's been doing it now 23 years. There's an understanding of why we do it. We bring good sides here because it works on our organisation out of possession. Chelsea, I think we can have a little bit more of the ball. They're going to be athletic. They're going to be on the front foot. They're going to squeeze and press you with an intent. And these are things that I feel that Notts County of this world, Solios of this world, Dagenham's of this world do in the National League. So we need to just ensure that 
we're taking positives from every single game. And like I said, injuries and getting minutes into players is the main focus. Yeah,